Stop if uh, Philip does. Okay. Right. Thank you, sir. You might throw this into the sun. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Which way do you want? You just tell me where you want me to stand. Yeah. You guys want to get. Yeah. Mr. White, you want to do it afterwards? Whatever you guys want to do. It's yeah, we'll just do one. Of the, yep. We'll do it at a time. Keep an eye out. Yep. I will. Just try to turn this a little bit forward. Okay. I'm just. Hold on, guys. I'm not moving. Oh, yeah. You're okay. Don't start yet. Again, okay. uh, I'm going to be turning in if I see him. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That's fine. You know how we do it. Oh, I am. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Yeah, you bet. Let me know when you're ready. When My you... old cheap radio equipment. Okay. It's okay. It's actually right. expensive, but okay. okay. Well, in case, of course, other people use this name and spell it again. Uh, Pat McDermott, M C capital D E R M O T T. It looks like there wasn't any conflict today. You guys all agreed. Tell us what you guys agreed upon. Essentially, the request is for any and all the medical information, and under the rules of criminal procedure, the defense is entitled to those records relating to the incident. And um, we've just had a, different, a little bit of a bump, a, a bump in the road obtaining that information. We have pretty much, as far as I can tell, the vast majority of the printed documented information, but it's some of the other information, CT scans, those are things that are, that are non-paper type documents, and, and we're pretty much in agreement that uh, that needs to be provided, and we just want to make sure that it not only does it get to Mr. Fleming and his client, but also to uh, Mr. Hillersheim and Mr. Shelley as well. So the order allows you to go directly to the hospital, if I understand that? The order would allow Mr. Fleming to go directly to the hospital, and the safeguards that I want to make sure are in place is that whatever is released to Mr. Fleming and Mr. Nelson is also released to uh, to our office and law enforcement so we can in turn get that information to the other in, in interested parties. How important are these records moving forward to finally getting this case going? Well, without knowing exactly what is there, but it's, it's, it's information that they're entitled to just as in any other case. So until we get those exact documents and those exact uh, images, we won't know. But well, I, no, that's fine. Go ahead, Jeff. Ballpark, uh, at, from this point forward, crystal ball time, when, when will we see this case moving forward, like a jury trial or anything like that? I would hate to guess with the court's calendar. Uh, you know, we're in some of the judges are already scheduling uh, trials into next year. Um, so, and we have yet to have a, a omnibus hearing at this point in time. And until we have that information, and I know that Mr. Hillesheim has uh, some similar, similar concerns for Mr. Shelley, we'll have to give him time to address those issues and determine if he does or does not wish to proceed with or without an expert and whatnot. So there's, a, there's many unanswered questions, and until we can get these housekeeping matters taken care of, we won't be able to fruitfully schedule anything. Pat, will your office be examining these, dot, these, these actual scan records? Yes. Any, anything that will be provided to defense. That's, I want to make sure whatever they get that I get as well, so that I'll have the opportunity to review those and follow up with any investigative materials that need to be followed up with and, and speak to the doctors in question. Could charges change depending on what you see from those scans? At any point in time, yes. I mean, it, it just depends. I mean, it, when, when this case was initially charged out uh, at the end of the complaint, you know, we have 36 hours in which to, to charge someone and, and take care of the court mandates, so this case is ongoing and we need to make that determination at, at any given point in time. Will you work specifically with the doctors who treated him, or will you also bring in other experts for opinions? That'll just depend. I don't, I, I don't know. Until I review that information, until I can formulate those questions and try to get some of those answers, I won't know that. Thank you. Okay. Mr. White? Thanks, Pat. You bet.
Mr. White, uh, again, for other people who may use this later, your first and last name, and uh, you are the? Uh, Kenneth White. I'm an attorney in Mankato. I represent the Colstead family um, in the possibility of civil actions going forward. Uh, I don't, uh, do you want me to lose uh, the... It's your call. I, it's, I, your, a woman's opinion. I was you look really cool, sincere. don't you think he... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think he looks cool. I think he looks cool. Uh, you are cool. All right. Uh, Mr. White, <laughs> um, you know, obviously we've read the blogs, the posts. He seems to be doing better, but uh, can you tell us from the family's perspective, how is Isaac doing? Uh, he's doing much better. He continues to improve. Uh, every day um, is a new set of challenges and a new set of... Um, steps of progress, um, but like most brain injury situations, it can be two steps forward, one step back, and some days it's two steps forward and three steps back. Um, and you just keep um, trying to make as much progress as you ha can with uh, the variety of professionals that are available to uh, assist him in his recovery. In terms of what we're talking about today, does the family have any objection as to both sides getting his medical records? Absolutely not, as long as we have an understanding of what's being sought um, and if there is an issue, the purpose for which it is being sought. Um, and um, I, don't, uh, I don't see any significant conflict between any of the lawyers involved, the, what, four sets of lawyers that are involved in this now. Um, in terms of documents, uh, medical records that uh, ought to be or are available for everybody to collect. Does Isaac understand what happened yet? Uh, I can't answer that. How, is he speaking, talking? I uh, won't answer that one either. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay, no worries. <laughs> he has, I mean, uh, the, the blog indicates he's um, said yes and no. That's certainly true. Um, there's some debate about how far he's going beyond that. Um, kind of depends on how you interpret various motions and, and mouth but, movement. But I understand he lights up when he sees his newborn child, when he sees his wife. Can you kind of elaborate on that? Absolutely. Um, there is no question that he is aware of his family, um, that he is extraordinarily cognizant of uh, his daughter and that uh, Malia is his daughter. Um, and uh, the same with the balance of the family. Um, and there are um, continuing efforts to ensure that um, he makes as much progress as possible. Are any of the life-threatening conditions still present, or are they now all resolved? Uh, that one I can't answer for you. How, how eager is the family to move forward with this and finally get this resolved? I think the family's focus is almost entirely on Isaac's recovery. Thank you, Mr. Where White. Where it should be. Yeah, thank you, Thanks. Mr. White. Anything you guys like to say to the Colstead family today? I just Anything think, else? I just think the, the same quick question, how important is getting this information and getting oh, it's, it? It's very important so you have a complete investigation and you understand what all the facts are. So. How eager is Mr. Nelson to get this over with, get it to very trial? Very eager. We're very eager to move on. Can it's you? been, it's been a, a bit of a delay, but, you know, we want to get moved on. And now you can go directly to the hospital eventually to get it Sounds this. like that's what we're going to be able to do. Yes. Is he still involved in representation? I don't know. What his plans are for the future? Which is, this is job number this one. one. Okay. I don't. I. I don't. I, I couldn't tell you with any confidence. Gotcha. Thank you. Thanks for stopping. Sure. Okay. okay. Take, Take care. care. Take care. Take care.